Hey guys, wanted to do a video on dual fuel versus straight AC and furnace. And maybe, uh, you know, you're considering what is the best for your home. And I believe there are four things that would affect your decision or you, or at least things you should consider before you decide whether or not you go straight AC with furnace or dual fuel. And so first of all, what is dual fuel? Uh, dual fuel basically, all it means is the outdoor unit, instead of being a straight air conditioner, is a heat pump. So it can do air conditioning and heat with the outdoor unit, and then the furnace becomes the backup heat. So meaning if it's super cold outside, you'll be burning gas. If it's mild outside, you'll be using the heat pump and saving gas. And so I believe, again, there's four things, and let's run through those four things real quick. The first thing is would be price. Uh, if you're considering dual fuel versus straight AC and furnace, typically, if you're comparing apples to apples, across the board, dual fuel is going to cost a little bit more. The outdoor unit, the heat pump, costs a little more than a straight air conditioning condenser, and there are components that need to be added like outdoor temperature sensors possibly in the old days we used to use external fossil fuel kits but these days we would just use a thermostat that can control the dual fuel capabilities and so you might have to do an upgraded thermostat with that sensor and so that does affect the price a little bit across the board typically you're going to be looking at a little bit higher price for a dual fuel system than just a straight furnace with straight AC. And so that would be the first thing. The second thing would be heat rise. You have a heat pump, the heat rise, meaning the temperature it's going in the return and the temperature coming out of your vents is going to be lower. It's gonna be a lower heat rise than if you're burning gas or a fossil fuel. So if you're burning gas, you're gonna get a higher heat rise. You're gonna get a higher temperature difference between the two. So you might see a 30 or 40 degree heat rise with a furnace. It might be going in the return at 70 degrees, coming out at over 100, 110 degrees. Whereas with a heat pump, you might only see a 20 or 30 degree heat rise. So just keep that in mind. Another thing that might affect your decision is what type of gas do they have? So if you have LP or propane, it costs fluctuate. You have to get it delivered to your home in most cases, and you have to worry about the price of propane, or do you have natural gas? Historically, natural gas has been a less expensive option than propane. You know, you'll have pipes coming to your home with natural gas, typically from your city or some sort of utility company, and you'll be burning natural gas, and it's less expensive than LP. So again, if you have natural gas, you might be less inclined to do dual fuel than you would be if you had propane. If you had propane, you should definitely probably consider, at least in our market, definitely consider dual fuel. And the last thing, the fourth thing that should affect your decision is what type of climate do you live in? And what I mean by that is if you're, you know, somewhere in the middle of, of the USA, you know, somewhere where it's, you have some mild days, more mild days across the year than super extreme temperatures, well, then you might consider more of the dual fuel option because you don't want to be burning gas on a mild day. You know, it'll just be running off of heat pump. You'll be saving gas on those mild days. You'll be saving that money. Whereas if you're in a more extreme temperature, if you're in the northern part of the U.S., if you're up in the Canada, places like that, more cooler temperatures, you might be less inclined to do dual fuel. I have seen customers up that way have dual fuel as well, but you might be less inclined to do dual fuel and more inclined to just burn gas because you have less mild days in general anyway. So the savings might not be there. Anyway, I hope that helps if you're considering dual fuel or just straight AC with furnace in your home. All that said, if you're in the market for a new heating and air system and you're not in Virginia, you're not in Griffin Air's coverage area, check out my website, newhvacguide.com. I'll put a link to it down in the description. 
And basically that website, I put so much information on there. It's all kinds of pitfalls, things that you should avoid. I even have a whole page on there called no-nos things to stay away from. And recently I have added a page that talks about what my favorite heating and air brands are and my not so favorite heating and air brands. And I'll tell you why. So check out that website before you spend thousands, check out newhvacguide.com. And if you are in our coverage area, if you're in Griffin Air's coverage area in the Middle Peninsula or the Northern Neck of Virginia, we'd love to earn your business. We have the best warranty in the area. Give us a call for a free estimate. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.